this topic. All right, let's now get to this one. F the NCAA. F the NCAA. Go, go. <laughs> Boogie Cousins, who I just saw, shout out to Boogie and his wife, uh, says the NCAA can kiss his ass. What? Let's listen to Boogie say it in his own words. <laughs> The NCAA can kiss my ass. Bro, you following the NIL deals? Are you watching the Hell yeah, I'm seeing them. <laughs> Hell yeah. But does it save college? How they treated these athletes, that shit sick. This ain't nothing but reparations, man. Pay I don't back. give a fuck about that college. Pay back. And this is no knock to Kentucky, because this is just the time we was in. Mm -hmm. We having tournaments in Cancun, Mexico. And there's 3,000 people with a Cousins in Kentucky shirt. But the vendor outside, he just made 60 bands with my name. <laughs> But I get in trouble for a free meal? Facts. Or a drink or anything. Like, like anything. what? Anything. And I don't I can't get a free meal. I don't care about nothing. All right. We knew this was coming, right? I mean, we've heard it from others, but it's gonna get even more deafening, even more damning. Old school cats like, yo, fuck the NCAA and the NIL stuff. Yeah, I'm glad it's here, but where was it when I was playing, right? Real talk. Um, let me say this, because what, what the NCAA is doing should have been done a long time ago. They know it, but it's still admirable because they're doing it now. What they're doing, but how they're doing it? Oh man, get out of here with this BS. It's very troubling what the NCAA is doing in terms of allowing the NIL to be the wild, wild west. Let me tell you why. The NCAA is doing something we're all guilty of, right? They're doing something that their heart isn't into, right? You ever reluctantly have to do something? Oh, like I had to give some fake apology at ESPN one time. Y'all should hear that apology. I don't know if it's still out there somewhere. Boy, my heart wasn't in it, right? And it just comes out like, wah, 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 wah. that's how the NIL really looks. There's a high society, right? There's an upper class. There's a Caleb Williams, and then there's a lower class that Kayla Williams is taking care of. The rest of them cats, are they making more than the Pell Grant? Like, how many cats out there eat, 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 eating? It's a high class, upper class, and then it's like gap, like America, and then it's like boom. And they know they can do better than that. They know they can do better than that, but they don't want to. Their heart's not into it. They didn't even have the foresight. And I think that, let me correct myself, I think they had the foresight they didn't have the, the four actions. <laughs> like, okay, this is coming. Let's prepare for it. Instead, they're like, this is coming. Let's see what happens when we hit it. Let's see what happens when we crash into it. Let's see what happens when we get there. You ever been there? Oh, we figured out when we get there. Oh, damn. We <laughs> should have figured this out before. It's a pure mess. These cats are transferring schools, going to four schools in four years for four more thousand dollars. What? Ah. <laughs> uh, but let me say this, there are two things going together, two things that I'm going to conflate, like they're going in the same direction, they're different though, but let's talk about them. The institution of higher learning is crumbling. Uh, ben Horowitz, alumni, Columbia, Ben Horowitz of Andreessen, Horowitz, Mark Andreessen, Ben Horowitz, them. Uh, big dogs, homie too. Uh, they do a lot of great podcasts, especially about higher learning and the politics at play. And I read this article in The Atlantic, what was it, a couple days ago, that talks about how emission numbers, enrollment numbers are down and dwindling. <sighs> it's almost like the, the gig is up. I love my Columbia experience, duh. Um, but the way that the world is being democratized because of the internet, because of technology, because of the way that you can hit the ground running without going through the rigors of four years of stone age education, <laughs> right? It's challenging up top. And this is big business. I'm talking about endowments. I'm talking about not the how much we make in football and basketball this year. Couple hundred million. I'm talking about endowments. Billions. Billions. What is Columbia's endowment? I don't know. I think it's like 20 billion. I don't know. Whatever Harvard is. No, just look them up. They got B's. They ain't got M's. B's. They are taking hits. 
still plowing along. Trust me, ain't going bankrupt anytime soon. But what do we say? We see something coming. You gonna wait till you get there, or you gonna prepare in foresight? NCAA is trying to prepare itself as a body institution, while the institutions themselves are trying to prepare themselves. Cause y'all are graduating high school with honors and still like, eh, maybe not lock myself into this four-year deal. Four-year deal at four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> in debt. So, long story short. Like DeMarcus said, they could kiss it. <laughs> Crazy thing is, he ain't going to be the only one saying it. A lot of these students now are going to start to say to kiss it. So beat it up in the comments. Have some fun with that. What you think about the future? NCAA, future of all these high-level academic institutions. All right.